know it's getting on in years, but the OnePlus 7 and 7T Pros still really stand out. And it's even more amazing that Android 14 is possible. If you've installed a custom ROM before, CR Droid should be a pretty familiar process, but it isn't too difficult if you haven't. As always, the first thing you want to do is ensure your PC has ADB and fastboot. If it doesn't, links will be in the description. We then want to get our prep out the way, making sure our device is on Oxygen OS 12, then downloading all the required files. These are found on the same device download page and dropped into our platform tools folder. We're after the latest version of the ROM, the recovery file and the Google Apps file. With that, we can now unlock the bootloader. A reminder that this will clear all your data, as will the ROM install. So make sure everything is already backed up if it's important. On our device, we want to ensure that USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled in the developer options. Connect via USB and select file transfer when it pops up. Now we open our platform tools folder and type cmd into the folder path to launch the command window. Then type adb reboot bootloader to reboot our device into fastboot mode. I always tend to type fastboot devices just to confirm the connection. If an error appears here, there could be an issue with the adb or fastboot setup. Then we type fastboot oem unlock and complete the prompts on the phone. Once the restart has completed, the bootloader will be unlocked. As this has wiped the device, we have to quickly run through the initial setup again. Then ensure USB debugging is enabled to proceed. Back in our command window, we want to jump into fastboot again with ADB reboot bootloader. Now comes the fun part. First, we have to install our recovery to both slots. This is done by typing fastboot flash recovery underscore A, leaving a space, and then drag the recovery file from your platform tools folder into the command window. Then click the command window to highlight it and press enter. Once that's done, we want to do the same thing, but for slot B by typing fastboot flash recovery underscore B and again, leaving a space, selecting the command window and hitting enter. Now we can reboot into our installed recovery by typing fastboot reboot recovery. Once that loads up, we want to tap Factory Reset, then Format Data, Factory Reset, then selecting the format which was previously installed. This removes the device encryption, deletes all files, and formats the cache partition if it's available. We then want to go back to the main page, then select Apply Update, then Apply from ADB. Now it's time to sideload our ROM. This is done with the command ADB sideload, then dragging the ROM file into the window then hitting enter. The process might get stuck at 47%, but this is as good as 100 in our case. As long as it's run through, our device should now say, to install additional packages, you need to reboot recovery first. Do you want to reboot to recovery now? If we want to install Google Apps or Magisk, we hit yes here to reboot back into recovery. To install Google Apps, we follow the exact same format as the last step by hitting apply update, then apply from ADB. 
then typing adb sideload and dragging the Google Apps file into the window and hitting enter. Repeat the process if you want to install Magisk too, but I haven't here. Now we reboot into the system and our shiny new ROM will greet us.